Listen, we already heard throughout this whole season uh, and a little bit before with Giannis Antetokounmpo, trade rumors and free agency signing rumors to where the Golden State Warriors were going all out for him, uh, especially in the 2021 free agency class, which he will be highlighting. Uh, there's been kind of talks to where they can set up some trade packages for him during midseason. They did trade away D'Angelo Russell, that little experiment for Andrew Wiggins. And uh, if you're looking at this offseason for the Golden State Warriors, you're not making the playoffs. They, they're right now, they have around 50 losses in the season. They have around G League players, a bunch of players retired, as well as left in free agency, and their players are hobbled and injured. Coming into the next season, you're still going to have the core of Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green, as well as a bunch of young cats. Uh, they'll probably either let go, as well as they can use in a trade, pa uh, trade package. So, Looking at this, there have been talks to where they can put in Andrew Wiggins, maybe in, maybe even their uh, their lottery pick. You know, it could be number one. It could be the first pick, second, third. I expect around top three, top four area. Uh, maybe like LaMelo Ball as well as James Wiseman. Uh, if they do select, and probably can trade away to the Bucks. Now, if, if the Warriors were actually going to go for Giannis Antetokounmpo, no way in the world are the Bucks even going to accept any of those offers, even if Giannis did state that he wanted to be traded away. Listen, Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's not going to say in 2021, beginning of that season or this free agency class uh, in this time period, in this offseason, he's not going to tell the Bucks he wants to be traded to go to the Warriors or any other X, Y, or Z team. He's going to utilize his free agency rights. He's going to opt out of his contract. He's going to be a free agent in 2021. He's going to see in this year and a half to where if he either made a finals appearance or won a championship for Milwaukee, as well as he's going to test the waters. We've seen every single, uh, well, pretty much 90-95% of the time, if you're a, a superstar and you're entering for your first time, you're eligible to be an unrestricted free agent. We've seen across the board, even if they have re-signed to their specific team, they're going to test the waters. We see with LeBron James, first go-round he did, leave the, Miami, or the Cleveland Cavaliers sign with the Miami Heat. We saw with Kevin Durant, he left the Thunder, went to the Warriors, uh, you know, then you can pull up some different cases from different other players kind of going forward there. I expect uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo to take the Warriors into heavy consideration during free agency when he's going to view for a couple teams. I expect him to, number one, look at Milwaukee, uh, check out the Golden State Warriors, the Atlanta Hawks, the Toronto Raptors, the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, there's probably a team or two on kind of forgetting there maybe even the Chicago Bulls there's been rumors of the Miami Heat that they compare him with uh, Giannis is in the stage of his career to where he wants to win a championship I don't think he's going to win a championship this year let alone in 2021 I've always stated to where he's going to get one finals appearance within these next two seasons I expect it to be back here in Orlando but uh let's see what these guys say have to say about this and well, I'll it's get my not take so much that sent me into a tizzy it's that the, the I would like to congratulate LeVar Ball for his life philosophy wow. infecting the greater Bay Area, which is just speak it into existence, and no matter how illogical, no matter how impossible, no matter how improbable, people will believe it can happen. I believe Giannis is going to stay in Milwaukee, but let's set that aside. Let's say Giannis absolutely 100% is leaving. There are literally half the league can come up with a far better trade offer than the best thing the Warriors can offer this summer, which is Andrew Wiggins, LaMelo Ball, or whatever that lottery pick turns into, and the Minnesota pick, which is protected in the top two, uh, that they got in the Andrew Wiggins trade because they had to take on the inferior player. Like I said before, if Giannis is going to leave the Bucks, I expect him to. This will be in the 2021 free agency class. He's going to be able to view a bunch of franchises speak with the owners the general managers uh you know check out roster moves that have been made before committing a four-year deal with the team i don't expect him to force himself into a trade into a franchise i don't i expect Giannis right now he i believe he wants to stay in milwaukee but whenever it comes to push comes to shove when you haven't won a championship and you're around you know 25 26 years of age maybe even 27 for him uh it's going to become a lot of pressure to where He's going to feel he has to be forced to go to a bigger market, you know, uh, form a, either a super team or collect a couple, a star or two with him 
and uh, jump to another franchise. I expect that in that case. There's no way that Giannis is going to ask for a trade request whenever he's on a title contender with the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks are always going to be a number one, number two seed top contender in the East and in the NBA. Uh, we've seen for this season as well as for 2021, even if they keep pretty much permanently the same team. Uh, so we're not going to see like a Camaro Anthony situation back in 2011. Uh, 2011, I, I think it was that year. 2010 or 2011 when he was on the Denver Nuggets for a couple seasons and he forced himself uh, to be traded to the New York Knicks even though that was a detriment to the Knicks giving away a bunch of their players and then same thing with the Denver Nuggets uh, it wasn't a good flow during that time he could have just waited uh, he could have just waited uh, a couple more months going off season to sign with them uh, I don't expect Giannis to do that at all even if they were going to make a trade uh, the Warriors for him, that's not enough, as Nick Wright was stating. There's a bunch of other teams I could give a bigger, bigger and better trade package, a bunch of young cats, as well as a couple of draft picks. But no, uh, Jan San Kumbo, uh, for sure, will be testing the free agency The market. overpaid player, the inefficient player in Andrew Wiggins. I, this is only because the Warriors have mind-melded everyone because they got fortunate when the cap spiked and with Steph's contract when they got Kevin Durant that they, they have some light years ahead philosophy. They don't. There is no chance Giannis, that the Bucks trade Giannis for 12 cents on the dollar. If Bruce Art, if they're going to trade him, here are some teams that can make real offers. The Miami Heat can offer you all their young players. Bam, Hero, Duncan Robinson. They would have to include Iguodala to make the money work. What about the Raptors, where you mentioned smartly he has a relationship with Masai? What about Pascal Siakam, OG, and their draft picks? The Celtics, if Danny Ainge ever wants to get off his butt and make a trade. What about Jason Tatum and the Memphis pick? Tatum and a pick for Giannis. I keep going. Washington could offer Bradley Beal and Ru Rui Hachimura. The Sixers could offer Ben Simmons, Matthias Theibel, and picks. Denver could say, you can have Jokic or Jamal Murray, your pick, plus Gary Harris. Listen, Giannis is not going to be traded before free agency. Even if he were and the Bucks were to shop him off, Giannis would be able to uh, tell his team, the Bucks, if this were to happen, if he wants to be traded, that there's one team I want to be traded to. It's going to be the Warriors. It's going to be the Sixers or whatever team it is going to be. The, you know, the Bucks aren't going to play around with six, seven teams. And let alone, they're not going to trade him at all unless it's to where he's a free agent in 2021. Let's just say he goes with the, for example, like the Warriors. Then they'll have to do a sign and trade because he's already going to sign with them as an unrestricted free agent. So it's you know it's it's forced to where they have to do in that situation. <laughs> the Bucks at all, they're not even thinking about trading him. Or let alone uh, is Giannis Antetokounmpo, based on his actions, mindset we've seen, he's not going to be able to demand a trade. He's not in an Anthony Davis situation. Back last season with Anthony Davis, he could barely make the playoffs. He only made it two out of seven seasons. He's had a couple injuries. The team was kind of meshed with younger cats, not even in contending status at all. Uh, we see the opposite when it comes to Giannis. Every single season, he's gotten better from his rookie season to now seven seasons in the NBA. Uh, he's become a league MVP. Probably he's going to be a two-time MVP, uh, and as well as number one in the East again, and favors to make it to the finals and have a good chance to win the championship. Way different situation. Giannis has no reason to demand a trade to any team whatsoever. Uh, I believe Giannis right now, he he's going to want to stay with the Bucks. I don't expect him to because I don't expect him to win a chip. And knowing how this comes with superstar players in this new decade, uh, in this time of age, and especially in the past whenever coming to Shaq, uh, they're gonna, he's going to be forced and pressured by the media, different outlets, and uh, to move on to a different franchise. As of right now, I don't know who it is. I just know he'll just exercise his free agency rights in 2021. He's going to visit around... Three to four main contenders, I think probably five or six in total because he's open-minded. Uh, but I don't know. We'll have to see how it comes to this season and next. Harris in picks. I could keep going. Every, Almost every team in the league can make a better offer than overpaid Andrew Wiggins, a top five pick in a bad draft, and whatever the Minnesota pick's going to turn into. I, it, this is a total impossibility, which is why I find it so maddening, Broussard. Yeah, look, I mean, it is a stretch to think that he can end up in Golden State and people keep talking about it. When we spoke about it a few days ago, 
I just thought the Warriors had a better chance than Toronto. But I don't think either team is getting Giannis. And you laid the point out pretty well. Obviously, they could put Clay in instead of Andrew Wiggins. Maybe they could put both in and it's Giannis and another pe- person to sweeten the pie. But still, the chances of him going to Golden State are very slim. I'm going to address Wiggins. Real quickly, listen, a lot of cats have been going on stuff, Curry and the Warriors, saying they're, you know, it's pretty much with Kevin Durant hosting the success. The team won't be back into that dynasty mindset. Uh, I disagree 100%. The Warriors are going to be back to being a top three team in the Western Conference. They're going to fill out the role players through this free agency class very nicely to where it's the core three. We've seen the success of System, of Draymond Green, Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson. I expect them to be in the second round or third round, probably lose to either the Clippers or Lakers. It does depend if Anthony Davis does sign back. The Warriors are going to be dynamic. I expect the Warriors in 2022, when they retool, uh, especially with their whole foundation, that they'll be a championship contender. Now, when it comes to Giannis actually joining the Warriors, so let's just say 2021 free agency, uh, he joins the Warriors. Uh, He's going to have to take some money off, uh, kind of chime off there. Uh, But if he were to join the Warriors, it's going to be a bad look on his legacy. We've already seen the same story of Kevin Durant. And the Warriors already won three championships in the last five or six seasons. And you're joining that team. Uh, It doesn't make sense. I I don't... If he's going to join the Warriors, it's going to have to be for three or four seasons. Because Steph Curry will be approaching 31, 32 years of age. Same thing with Klay Thompson and Draymond Green. Uh, I expect the Warriors to win one more championship. Let alone with their whole foundation. Uh, I don't expect them to exceed like the Spurs to where they're they're around 36, 37, 38 years of age. I think some of those cats may retire a little early, as well as we don't know what Draymond Green may get traded like three, you know, two to three seasons from now uh, within that. But no, I don't expect Giannis. That's not his mindset. We've already seen him. He has that Kobe Jordan mentality of being a killer going at it. Uh, that being stated, that doesn't mean he'll stay with the Bucks. I know he would like to. Uh, but this is something to where he may have to go over to the Miami Heat with Pat Riley, uh, a championship contending management group, all the way with Pat Riley, Eric Spolstra. They've done this before, and this could be down the way. Uh, maybe going to the Atlanta Hawks, a younger team like the Dallas Mavericks as well. Uh, maybe even go to Toronto. That team right there, next three to four seasons, will be on track to uh, be formed with Pascal Siakam and Giannis to be dominant. Kyle Lowry is getting up in age around 33, 34 years. There's a lot of scenarios when it comes to Giannis. Uh, I don't I don't really expect a bunch of star players and stars to be moved around this season or next because in the 2019 free agency, we saw last season, uh, pretty much the whole uh, the league had a new era. You remember Kawhi Leonard uh, left his team. You had Paul George, Russell Westbrook. Uh, you had Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Anthony Davis. So, I don't know. We have to see if Giannis is going to win a championship or not. I don't expect him to in the next two seasons. Again, I've always stated I expect him to go to one finals appearance and he would leave the Milwaukee Bucks. I don't know what franchise it would be as of yet, uh, but we still have to evaluate. Yes, Nick, you are always killing Andrew Wiggins. And let me say this. As a fourth option, and that's what he is, remember, fourth option, he is going to be good for Golden State. When Andre Iguodala had to be the number one option in Philadelphia or a higher option in Denver, didn't go too well. He goes to Golden State as a guy off the bench or, you know, a fourth option as a starter, and he has a great end to his career. Sean Livingston, when he was viewed as a top guy, more of a top guy than he was in Golden State, he struggled. He gets to the Warriors in a perfect role off the bench, and he shines. Yeah, but that's not the case. I already know Wiggins will be fine, kind of playing a Harrison Barnes role with more uh, uh, an offensive set to where he can kind of play around with the second unit a couple times uh, to where he can just kind of go off, do his own isolated thing. Uh, that, that hasn't been the case. I already expect that with Wiggins being a fourth option. Uh, but when it comes down to if he were to be in a trade package for Giannis, the Bucks are not looking to build off an Andrew Wiggins. We've already seen he hasn't even progressed whenever he came to Minnesota the way that we have would have liked him to be. Uh, it was his first or second season. He was averaging 22 points. Uh, we saw a little spark into him. And then besides that, we haven't really seen anything else. Uh, there's no way the Bucks are even going to consider a trade. Even if Giannis was demanding to be traded, they, they wouldn't do it. And I just don't see it at all to where Giannis would be able to ask for a trade. 
Uh, I don't even know really know I don't <laughs> I don't even really know why this is a topic to where these guys are talking about it. But with the NBA down, there's always going to be rumors and speculations. Uh, with the Warriors, I actually do think they have a legitimate shot in 2021 in free agency uh, because I mean they've already they've already shown they can be a dynasty. That he's going to win championships. Uh, but Giannis, he's already seen the speculation as well as the, the backlash on Kevin Durant. And he doesn't want that for his legacy. That's not his DNA. Uh, he's more of a winner to where he'll go out trying to be a number one option on his own team. If he wins zero championships, he's fine with that. Uh, but with Giannis Antetokounmpo, I expect him to really heavily consider the Atlanta Hawks, the Dallas Mavericks, the Raptors, the Miami Heat, uh, maybe even the Chicago Bulls at that time. I feel like I'm missing a team or two uh, up in the mix. Uh, yeah, but overall, let's see what happens with the Warriors, how they progress in Giannis, and see if he wins the championship or how he performs this playoffs.